Welcome to Absolute Punjab. We discussed uh, the sign Adik in the last lesson. Up to now, we have talked about Kanna, Sihari, Vihari, Onkar, the Lankar or the Lankare, Lama, the Lama, Hora, Kanora, Adik. And today we are going to talk about tipi, less than full n. Now, slightly tipi is used between uh, two letters where we need the sound of, for example, where in English sometimes we use uh, double n, but in Punjabi, as I said before, that we don't use uh, double letters. Uh, we don't write down two letters twice to make one sound. Rather, we use some signs. So, for example, if we want to write down amb, era, baba, then we put tipi on the on the top uh, to make the sound um, like amb, or kanna, or ramba or Jindra, Binder, something like that. And I will uh, write down a few uh, words to explain it. I will give you some examples of the sound and where we use tipi. And after that, we have one more sign, Bindi, but there are so many other, some sort of signs we can say or half letters which we will discuss after next sign bindi. Then we will start to use uh, uh, lengthy words and phrases. I'll give you some uh, examples where we use tipi to make sound. First letter we can use India. In Punjabi, we will write down ED, then da, da da, and a ah, we will use era. Now to make the sound e gives a sound da a, ah, it doesn't make nothing. You remember we use sihari to make e. Then Bihari here to make the sound E and Kanna to make the sound A. Ah. So this is idia, idia. But we want to make it India like N, which is a little bit so silent, but we have to make the sound of N. So we put this sound tipi here which make the sound of N, India. And next example we can use sing. Sasa for the sound of sir. Kaga for ka. And you remember Sihari to make it sing like Sir. Then we put Tipi here, it become Sing. And we can use uh, another word. In English, we call village. In Punjabi, we call pend. So you remember pend, pa, papa, and da, dada. Da. So to make it pend, we have to put siari here, and to use the sound of n slightly, we will put tippy here or like this, it's called pend. 
and I will use only probably one or two examples so that uh, the lesson is not very long. I just want to make you understand where we use uh, TP and how it gives you the sound. Uh, the first uh, sign we uh, you learned, Kanna. So if we want to write down in Punjabi, Kanna, Kaka, sound of Ka, then Nana. And we write down here like Tipi and Kanna. This is called Kanna. I think this should be enough and um, I, I probably use one for the next one is dot bindi we write down baba dada baba for ba dada for the siari here di the bihari here and tipi it is uh, red bindi so i think you enjoyed this lesson like uh, previous lessons <laughs> i don't know if you're enjoying this these lessons or not but i still think uh, you enjoy these lessons and if you have any suggestion or question you can uh, leave a comment or send me a private message and i will try to do my best uh, to help you uh, you have a very nice day God bless you all. Be happy.